hello guys uh, welcome back to my channel so today we gonna see the the most important and uh, the trending uh, topic which is a data analyst and uh, it's like how to become a data analyst in uh, 2022 or uh, 23 so let's get started so I'm gonna tell you a few tips which will uh, really help you to get a job so basically you need to understand what is a data analysis okay so nowadays we are living in this world where we generate a millions and billions of data every every minute every day so in that case we need a people who can uh, gather the data analyze the data and uh, understand the data and help the the decision maker to take a uh, certain steps okay uh, so why, what is data like data is everything like uh, you have a data everywhere okay and uh, with the help of data you can do a lot of things you can uh, run your entire business right so that's a thing so that is a data so it's 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 very valuable to any any big company it's kind of an asset to any company so wh why data and require as i told you it is it will help the stakeholder or a business it doesn't matter a small business a large business so that will help them to take a decision based on the data and as a data analyst it is your job to represent the data in a systematic manner to the decision maker so data driven decision so this is nothing but uh, when you have a data and when you create a data in a manageable order and when you present in front of the stakeholder that will help them to take up the decision so that that's kind of a data de real decision who can become data analyst see guys uh, data analyst is not a rocket science anyone anybody who have a a passion about the data uh, a good uh, somebody who is a very good storyteller somebody who can explain his point very well okay with the help of data he can become a data analyst it doesn't mean like you need to have a certain qualification or a certain certification for that yes you need to have some qualification like basic education to get a job but that again depending depends on your knowledge okay your domain language okay you don't know knowledge and everything and uh, it is not like you need to be in IT okay even in your non IT domain you can become a data analyst because in non IT you'll be working in various sectors like sales manufacturing uh, call center whatever n number of uh, sector so with the help of that you can analyze the data depending on that domain so this is a career path you can just look around it okay can start from a scratch and uh, you can just go step by step so the, the, many of many of the people uh, ask me that uh, I'm not getting job as a data analyst or I'm not finding a, any job title in LinkedIn or a Nokri so it's not like that guys uh, you will have a different kind of uh, titles depending on the industry you're working or uh, in a domain if you're working okay so the job will be the same only the domain will get changed okay so these are the list of uh, job titles or position you will have and there are many more okay which i cannot list it here because it will take a lot of time so there are a lot of uh, job titles are there okay so nowadays uh, which is trending is uh, one is business analyst and one is HR analyst these two parts are really trending nowadays okay uh, there are a lot of openings for this two job title okay so that's depend on your domain your expertise okay so I, I'm gonna tell you few tools and technology which will help you to uh, gather the data clean up the data understand the data and present it to the stakeholder see guys if you're learning the tools okay doesn't matter which your tool it is a very high-end tools that will not make you a good data analyst 
you'll only become a good data analyst when you have a domain language or when you have a data knowledge so like what to do with that data only by using the tools you are not uh, become a data analyst that's for sure so this is the first step okay this is the very first step microsoft excel doesn't matter you are working as a data analyst or a data scientist or any position microsoft excel is the most important tool you should know this is very easy to learn okay and the microsoft excel is not a small tool okay like it's not like a typing tool okay you can type or record it's a very big tool you can create an entire software in that okay you can run an entire business into this but excel have a, a lot of limitation like uh, the data data size okay that's a limitation but many of organization use excel whatever excel uh, organization they use excel it's the most important part so excel will will use in or uh, data entry data cleaning okay data visuals pivot so a lot of things creating a dashboards yep so the next thing is power bi and tableau okay so these are the 21st century tools okay which every company are, are using nowadays this is a next step to a microsoft excel okay you can create a very good visuals okay so with the help of power bi and tableau so you will ask me like which one to learn so i suggest you start from power bi because power bi is a part of microsoft okay and if you using a uh, excel then a lot of things will derive from excel to power bi so that will be easy for you to understand the tabs okay and everything and once you uh, get expertise in power bi you need to go to tableau learn the thing and so the both the things will really help you so as of now uh, in the market power bi is just ahead okay slightly ahead i can say but even tableau have a lot of scope in the market so the next tool is a widely used tool a very very important tool that is sql which is called structured query language so this is not a easy language okay but you can learn it okay you can learn it by only practice you cannot learn it like that like excel and power bi this require a lot of practice you need to learn a lot of this it's a, it's a basically a query okay uh, in a, in a, in a simple manner if i tell you this is a kind of when you go to the shop or a mall you will tell a sales person that you want this shirt or this pant so the similar thing the sales person is like sql so if you are using a cloud system or a, a very big data system you need to use a structural query language to retrieve the data from that database okay you need to give some query some command to the sql and get a data and you can work on the data after that so there are a lot of things like first of all it's rdbms that is relationship database management which is used widely everywhere it's kind it's like uh, there will be rows and column okay the data is will be stored in a very structural manner okay the tools again you can learn is microsoft sql sql server okay which is again coming from uh, microsoft you can learn that and ms sql that is also mysql okay and postgre etc see the queries will be the same only the tools will be different okay the 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 user interface will be different but the queries will be same everywhere then the next step okay uh, the next the the next level thing will be advanced sql that is called no sql no sql will be used mostly in big tech organization or a very big organization where they will store uh, trillions of data okay where in data will not have a proper data types data will store in any form pictures videos text anything so in the sql data will be not stored in a structural manner okay so in no sql they will mostly use to store number n number of uh, data types so the the best tools you can learn is will be mongodb it's a bit difficult to learn but you can learn it with the help of practice so apart from this okay i can also tell you if, if you are good with all these three tech tools 
you can just try learning python and r which is up to you okay so this is a place where i will suggest you to learn okay no need to pay any high amount to a big courses okay no need to take any kind of certification don't pay in lakhs of rupees for any training institution so for mx excel you can learn from trump excel youtube and if you need any kind of certification you can learn from udemy udemy you can pay less than 500 rupees and you can learn from export okay all around the globe same thing to power bi and tableau youtube and udemy is more than enough and sql again youtube and udemy so udemy if you want certification go to udemy and that certification have a lot of values trust me because it's a international udemy okay so if you want to search how to get a best course so you can just type in youtube okay and uh, you can just select your language select the playlist okay and try to watch most recent videos because there will be a lot of updation happening every day in that tools so the more recent you learn the more uh, new things you learn the certification required to become a data analyst uh, i will say big no because uh, most of the company hire based on your past experience based on your uh, skills your tools knowledge and how well you know the data and how well you know the industry and market so certification will only require when you are fresher okay and uh, or else your company wants you to get a certification for a internal job in that case you can go for a certification but see certification you get from udemy also by pay just by paying like 3 to 400 rupees so that is more than enough to showcase and you can just put that into linkedin yeah so guys that's all i uh, i hope that's really help you and uh, you and i am working as a data analyst in a staffing and recruiting firm so you can just check out my linkedin profile and you can just ping me there and maybe i will give you some feedback some tips to to make your career into data analytical okay so that's all my friend uh, hope you have a good career in future and have a good day thank you bye bye